to another YouTube video. In today's video, it's going to be a little bit different, not so much a vlogging style. I'm going to be doing an Elias Skin review. So Elias Skin is a product that I have been using for quite some time now. If you guys follow me over on my Instagram, you would have seen me talking about them quite a few times and that I have been absolutely obsessed with their pink clay mask. So the clay mask is something that I use once a week or twice a week, especially when I am dealing with breakouts and I just really want to get rid of them because who loves breakouts? Let's be honest. <laughs> um, this mask is really good for detoxifying and brightening up your skin. I find that it lasts forever. This is how much I've used. So I've used a fair bit of it. There is still obviously so much in there. A tiny little bit of product really does go quite a long way. For me, I do usually like to stick to my skincare because I do go and get regular treatments and high performance microdermabrasions all of the time. A lot of my products are from Australian skin clinics. So usually I use products that are going to work really, really well with my skin. I do have quite sensitive skin and when I am wearing makeup all the time, and constantly have products on my skin I do break out. This mask is something that I will probably use, I don't even, can't even tell you, I will be using this product for quite some time. I have tried other detox masks and it can be quite thick and not really that comfortable when you are wearing it. It doesn't really do all that much, but for this one, I do really notice a difference. Like I said, it really helps my breakouts. I don't know if you guys can like hear that fly. <laughs> I think there's a fly stuck in my window and it's like freaking out at the moment. <laughs> I jump in the shower, I cleanse my face. I put my face mask on for 10 to 15 minutes. It goes on like a clay and then it hardens up. Then I just rinse it off and I put on my moisturizers. The next product that I love from Alaya Skin is their Vitamin C Supercharged Serum. This is a really, really quite new product that they have just released. They sent it to me a little while before the launch date so I can give it a go, kind of see if I liked it or not for posting it onto my social media. I have a retinol and a brightening serum actually that I use every single night. I use the retinol every second night. Um, this is a product that I use every day. It is super easy, like you just do one or two pumps and it literally feels like satin when you put it on your face. Like it goes such a long way and it feels so nice. It's not like a moisturizer texture. It's just really, really thin. Um, and like I said, a satin kind of finish. So the first time I put this on, and to be honest, it still to this day does it. As soon as I put it on my face, my skin literally eats the product. So I'll put two pumps on this, apply it all over my skin. And then by the time I get my moisturizer out, it's literally off my face, like it's gone. I love this product as well because vitamin C is really, really good for your skin. It does brighten it. It also has hydrochloric acid in it which is really good for anti-aging so you don't get any fine lines and wrinkles because as we're getting older who wants that <laughs> definitely not me i think i'm going to be the kind of person that gets a little bit of botox um just to reduce that even further so this is a really really good that i'm loving at the moment it also has other products like kakadu plum dessert lime finger lime caviar and lily pilly. I have no idea what any of those things are, but I mean, it sounds pretty good. So <laughs> Alaya Skin is also completely vegan and cruelty friendly. So it gives you a little bit of peace of mind when you are buying your skin products. If you are someone that is wanting to switch over to vegan and cruelty free products, they recently sent me this massive box, which has all their products in it. Um, I have also tried this one here, which is the foaming cleanser. For me personally, I don't love foaming cleansers. My skin just didn't agree with it, to be completely honest. It did remove my makeup because it does have the micellar cleanser in it. It's also infused with witch hazel and watermelon seed oil. It's rejuvenates and hydrates, so it's a daily use. It is also made in Australia, so for me personally, like I said, this product didn't really agree with my skin, um, but if you are looking for a new cleanser that is vegan and cruelty friendly and it has all those things, this one is a micellar water, so try it out, see how you go. Then of course they just sent me a <laughs> top-ups of my mask because they know how much I love the mask. And they also sent me a top up of the serum as well. The next two products that I haven't actually tried, but I am looking forward to trying them, is the Pomegranate Exfoliator Scrub. This is something that you use a couple of times a week. Um, let me just read the 
directions. So you apply the product to your forehead, cheeks, nose and chin. Scrub gently in circular motions. Wash away with warm water. I love the idea that it's got pomegranate in it. Like I feel like that would definitely exfoliate your skin. <laughs> it says use pomegranate seeds powder to deep foliate your skin for all skin types. So yeah, that is something that, I, like I said, I haven't tried, but I am looking forward to giving it a go, just seeing how my skin likes it, if it agrees with it or not. Um, and then the last product that I haven't tried is the Native Berry Moisturizer. So it says this one has macadamia oil to hydrate, restore, and replenish your skin. It is for all skin types as well. So you can put a layer on your skin. This product is recommended for use after. Okay, cool. So you use this product after the pink clay mask to restore and hydrate your skin. Use every day for best results. So my skincare, I usually do my skincare morning and night time. So in the mornings I'll get up, head to the gym because I'm a sweaty mess, obviously come home and have a shower, do my skincare then, and then I'll actually apply my makeup on after that. Same with at night time, I'll remove my makeup, do my skincare, put all my moisturizers and cream on straight after. They've also sent me this really cute little like headband. <laughs> And they also sent me a little cloth as well. Face mask. Face wash, I should say. <laughs> face mask. Face wash. Yeah, so I just wanted to do a little bit of a review of the products that I love the most. Products I haven't tried and products I'm looking forward to trying as well as what didn't work for me. I wanted to be really, really open and honest with you guys. I don't want you to want to go and buy something and it not work for your skin. Obviously, everybody's skin is totally different. Like I said, some products will work with my skin and others won't. And I think it's really important that you find what works for you and what doesn't work for you. Alaya Skin is, of course, having a Black Friday sale. Um, if you are wanting to try any of these products or restock any of these products, head over to their website and check it out. I have linked it in the description box below for you guys. I have also linked every single product that I use and love, um, as well as products that I haven't tried and that I don't really love that much. I have linked literally everything in the description box below for you guys. So if you head over to their their website use the code black 35 that way you'll get 35% off the whole range Elias skin also sell all of the products individually as well as in boxes kits I should say um, they sell the kits as like a full like the full kits where you can get the mask you can get literally all of their products you can get a starter kit they have a heap of stuff over there so if it's something that you're wanting to give a go, make sure you head over. I'll leave the code in the description box below for you guys. But that pretty much wraps up this really, really quick and easy review of Alaya Skin. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you go below, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. And I really look forward to seeing you guys for Vlogmas. I'll see you then. Bye.